Hey, what's going on? My name is Michael, you're watching IDB. In today's video, we're showing you some hidden features and secret tips and tricks in iOS 16. So if you just updated your iPhone, we're gonna help you get the most out of it with some settings and features that you may not have known about in iOS 16. We have a fantastic video for you today, so let's go ahead and jump in right now. So number one is the all new experience when you're playing music on the lock screen. So say for example, you're jamming out to some awesome Nickelback, probably not many of you out there are doing that, but just for an example, when you go to the lock screen, this is a new now playing platter, they call it in iOS 16. So this redesign looks pretty cool. And you also have the waveform up here at the top right, which actually represents the current waveform of the music, which is kind of cool. You can also click on the album art and it'll fill the entire screen. And you can see in the background, it also changed the wallpaper of my iPhone to sort of match the color of the album art. So this looks really good and Apple hasn't done a full screen uh, music player on the lock screen in a very long time. So this is a really nice change and it's kind of an awesome way to get a bit more immersed in your music. So coming in at number two, this one is a nice little change. If you want to transfer this music over to a pair of AirPods or a pair of Beats headphones, the way that your headphones appear inside of settings is now a lot better. So let me show you what I mean by that. So I'll open up my case and connect them to my iPhone right here. And if you jump into settings, you're going to notice that your connected headphones now live at the very top. So you don't really get any extra functionality from this, except it's just a lot faster to access your headphone settings right when you open up the app. When you click on it, you can see you have a nice image of the headphones at the top and you can also check your battery level as well. Like I said, you don't get any additional settings. This is the exact same screen that you would have had inside of Bluetooth settings in iOS 15, except now they live conveniently at the top of settings when they're connected. So moving on to number three, we're going to go inside of music and I promise this is the last tip I'm going to give you inside of music, but it's pretty cool. I think you guys are going to like this. So now in iOS 16, when you have a playlist that you have created, you can now actually sort your playlist by any order you want. So if you click on the menu icon here at the top right, you now have an option that says sort by. So if I click on this, you can see we can sort by title, artist, album, or even release date. So this is really convenient because previously in iOS 15, the only way to really listen to a playlist was to either shuffle the entire thing or play it in the order right off the top. So it's really nice that you can now choose the exact order of your playlist. This is gonna make listening to music a lot better for me. So coming in next at number four, this addresses what was apparently a huge issue in iOS 15 and earlier versions. So when I show you this, I feel like a few of you are going to have a big sigh of relief. You know when you're on a phone call and you wanna just place your phone down, you're not trying to hang up the call, but you click on the lock button on your phone, that would actually hang up the call in iOS 15 and any version before that. Now in iOS 16, there is a toggle to prevent that. So a lot of people are going to appreciate this feature. You wanna click on accessibility settings and then touch and then make sure that prevent lock to end call is turned on. This way, when you're on a phone call now and you just wanna put your phone to sleep, it's not gonna rudely hang up on the other person on that line. So I feel like this is going to be used by a ton of people. So coming in next at number five is a pretty small change, but again, it's one I think a lot of people are going to appreciate. And it is Face ID now works in landscape mode. So you know when you're watching something like a video on your iPhone and it's in landscape mode and you accidentally hit the lock button, if you wanted to unlock your phone again, you'd have to, you know, rotate it back into portrait mode, then swipe up to unlock and then go back into landscape mode to continue your video. It really wasn't that big of a deal, but now in iOS 16, you're able to simply authenticate with Face ID when the phone is turned sideways. So I'll try to do it with the camera in front of my face. I don't know if it'll work that well, but if I try to swipe up in landscape mode there, as you can see, Face ID now works in landscape mode. Next up at number six, this one has to do with security inside of photos. So in iOS 15, if someone grabbed your iPhone and went into photos, they could easily access either your hidden album or your recently deleted album. They wouldn't have to enter a passcode or do face ID or anything like that. It really wasn't secure at all. But now in iOS 16, as you can see here, we have a little padlock icon next to our hidden photos and also our recently deleted photos. So if someone grabs your phone and opens up your photos, you know that these two albums are going to be secure. And when you click on it, your phone is just gonna ask for authentication with Face ID and then you can view the album. Next up at number seven, this one also has to do with privacy and security, except this time we're talking about notes. 
So I'm pretty sure all of you are familiar with in Apple Notes how you're able to lock certain notes with a passcode. That way if someone opens up the Notes app and you have confidential information in there, they're not gonna be able to see that note. Now you actually have some different options inside of note settings that pertain to the password. And I think a lot of people are going to be relieved when you see this section right here. So if you click on password inside of note settings, you can see we now have the option to just use our device's passcode to access those notes. So I really don't know why it took Apple this long to implement this because this was so confusing for so many people. They first had to remember the passcode to unlock their iPhone, then they had to remember their Apple ID password, and then for some reason with Apple Notes, they had to remember a custom password. But now finally on iOS 16, we now have the option to just use our device passcode and you can also turn on Face ID as well, which we could do before, but now at least you don't have to remember multiple passcodes. So next up at number eight, this one has to do with iOS 16's new intelligence features. And there really are a lot of them, but I'll show you just one of my favorites. And that is the new conversion and translation options inside the camera using live text. So the example I'll give you in this video is doing a currency conversion. So in my camera's viewfinder, I'll hold up this image with a 10 euro icon on it. And if I click the live text icon, you can see it pulls out that text. And then at the bottom left here, I can easily convert that into my currency. And as I said before, you can also do even more with this. So it can also do things like translation from other languages. So this new live text intelligence is going to be amazing when traveling abroad. So next up here at number nine, our second to last tip. This one may be my favorite of the entire video. So you know when you work really hard on editing a photo and you get it just right and you wish you could apply all of these exact same edits to another photo? Well, now you can actually do that exact thing in iOS 16. So you can see here, if I click on edit, I've made a few edits to this photo. I've also applied a filter, so it looks pretty good. Now I wanna apply these edits to this different photo. All I have to do is open up the photo I wanna copy the edits from, click on the menu icon, and then click on the button that says copy edits. If you click on this, you can now paste this on any other photo. So if I click the menu icon on this photo, I can paste the edits, and as you can see, the changes have been applied to that photo as well. So coming in here at number 10 is inside of contacts. And I honestly can't even believe I'm showing you this as a feature. But here in iOS 16, we can now press and hold on a contact and delete it right from the front page. If this doesn't sound like that groundbreaking of a feature to you, it's because it really isn't. Apple was just really strict and weird about how you had to delete a contact in all versions before iOS 16. You had to click on the contact and then click on edit contact and then scroll all the way to the bottom just to delete it. So you can now simply delete a contact in iOS 16 just by pressing and holding on it. So a nice small change. So I figured I'd throw in a bonus one here at the end. In iOS 16, there's a pretty cool way to get a blur on your home screen wallpaper. This can make your icons and widgets stand out a little bit more. So if you go to the edit screen of your wallpaper by pressing and holding on the lock screen, press on customize, and then you can make any changes you want in here. You're probably familiar with this if you've used iOS 16. But if you click on done, you have the option to customize home screen at the bottom. And you can see there's an option here at the bottom called blur. If you turn this on, it's gonna add a very nice blur to your home screen wallpaper. And you can see the blur kind of fades in as you unlock the phone. So this makes your icons and your widgets stand out a bit more and it also looks really cool. So now what I want you guys to do, since you made it this far in the video, make sure to hit that like button as it does really help us out. And now head down to the comments and tell me what is your favorite feature that I covered in this video. And also maybe tell the community one feature that I didn't cover in this video. I always love hearing what you guys have to say, so make sure you leave us a comment. With all that said, my name is Michael with IDB. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.